the Huffy Nail Lusa. I've been riding this thing for three days, and I gotta say, for 119 bucks, I think this may be the best cruiser you're gonna get for the money at Walmart. That's provided you get a good one. The Nail Lusa I purchased only has one issue, but it's a big issue. It can't stop. The coaster brake that it came with only slows you down, and that's if you're on flat ground. Try to ride this thing down a hill, there's no braking at all. There's not even any slowing. You can put all the weight you want on that coaster brake and you just keep on going. That means you end up sometimes looking for escape routes. That's not how I want to ride a bike. So I took this thing down to the local bike shop, the Shoals Bike Shop, a bike shop that's not scared to work on a Walmart bike. They don't care what a bike costs or where it came from. They work on them all. The bike mechanic knew everything there was to know about the Nel Lusso. Said they were pretty decent bikes, provided you got a good one. But that's always the case with a Walmart bike. You get a good one, or you get a bad one. Said there were two things that if you're going to buy a Nel Lusso, you need to look for. Number one is that you get a good coaster brake. They use the cheapest coaster brake that's available. No surprise considering the price. But that either works out of the box, or it doesn't. If it doesn't, you're going to spend 35 bucks to get it replaced. The other problem was with the seat tube welding onto the bottom bracket said that welding is known to be bad on some models, so you need to look at it really closely to make sure you get good welds. I only paid 130 bucks tax and all for the Huffy Nail Lusso, and I really like it for that price. I don't like the idea of spending another $35 just to get a brand new bike to stop, especially considering that I didn't come to buy the Huffy Nail Lusso in the first place. I was intending on buying a Huffy Cranbrook, which only cost 79 bucks. What Walmart bikes lack in bike-to-bike -bike quality control, they make up for in Walmart's return policy. If you get a bad one, you can just keep returning it until you do get a good one. As a matter of fact, I've returned quite a few bikes from Walmart. I keep what works, but they're just going to have to fight that battle of attrition if they're going to let their suppliers supply questionable quality from bike-to-bike. -bike. Hopefully, I can get a Cranbrook that doesn't have questionable quality. There's really only those two things to look for, so I'll check them before I roll it out of the store. It's going to need those coaster brakes, because I have something in mind for the Cranbrook. That's why I came after it in the first place. More to come on that in the future. But before I end today, I want to mention a few things about the Shoals Bike Shop. This place is a treasure trove of old vintage bikes. There's bikes from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, hundreds of them. From all different manufacturers, all different styles, and most of them work. The shop owner knows everything there is to know about each and every one of these bikes. He can rattle off all the specs about the bike, what they competed against, what they were for, and in some cases, he knows the personal history of some of these vintage bikes, where they came from, who owned them, and how they got there. The best part is he's really supporting the channel by allowing me access to all these bikes. I'll be able to periodically go through and pick out an old classic bike and look at it. Plus, we can use his knowledge to find out more about them. Who knows, you may even find a bike on here that you want that you've been looking for for years. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you get a Huffy Nel Lusso, pay attention to the welding on that seat tube and also check out the coaster brake before you roll it out the store to make sure you get a good one.